Good day, cute angels! Welcome to a new Mathemic episode. I am Teacher Nancy, your grade 8 math teacher. For this learning episode, we are going to learn how to illustrate algebraic expressions. At the end of this lesson, we are expected to define rational algebraic expressions, identify rational algebraic expressions, and evaluate rational algebraic expressions. Let us first define rational algebraic expressions. A rational algebraic expression is an expression that can be written in the form p over q where p and q are polynomials and q must not be equal to zero. In other words, a rational algebraic expression is an expression whose numerator and denominator are polynomials. For us to recognize rational algebraic expressions, let us examine the following examples. The first expression is 6 over x minus 3. The second one is y squared minus 1 all over y cubed minus 3. The third expression is 18n plus 1 all over n squared plus n minus 2. The fourth one is 5x squared plus 6x minus 11 all over 1. And the fifth expression is x raised to 4 plus 2x plus 1 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. All these five expressions are rational algebraic expressions since these contain polynomial expressions in both numerator and denominator respectively. Let us check on these algebraic expressions. The first one is 3x minus square root of y all over 5 square root of x. The second one is 3x minus square root of y all over x plus 6. The third one is 2x raised to negative 2 minus 3 all over x plus 6. The fourth one is 2x raised to negative 2 minus 3 all over 5 square root of x. And the fifth expression is 3 plus 1 over 2 minus x all over z raised to negative 2 plus 5. All of the given expressions here are not rational algebraic expressions since the expressions contain irrational numbers. And these expressions are square root of x and square root of y and variables having negative exponents. The expressions that contains x raised to negative 2 and z raised to negative 3, which are not polynomials. Again, let us recall that the rational algebraic expression is a fraction containing polynomials in both numerator and denominator, provided that the denominator must not be equal to 0. The denominator cannot be 0 because a division of 0 is undefined or meaningless. In rational algebraic expressions, you need to pay attention to what values of the variables that will make the denominator equal to zero. These values are called excluded values. How are you going to determine the excluded value or values in a rational algebraic expression? Here's a useful checklist in identifying whether the expression is a rational algebraic expression. First, the expression must be in fraction form. It should be in the form of p over q. Second, the expression must have in its numerator and denominator a constant, a variable, or a combination of both that are polynomial expressions. And third, the expression must not have a negative exponent, a radical sign, or a fraction exponent in the variables now, how are we going to determine the excluded values or the restrictions in a rational algebraic expression? The restriction in the definition of a rational algebraic expression is that the denominator must not be equal to zero. Here are the steps in determining the excluded values. Step 1. Let the expression in the denominator be equal to zero. So we have to equate the denominator to 0. Step 2. 
solve the equation to determine the value or values of the variable. Let us try the following examples to help you understand it better. For example, number 1, let us identify the value of x that will make 6 over x minus 3 undefined. For step 1, let the expression in the denominator be equal to 0. So the denominator will be equated to 0. It will be x minus 3 equals 0. Step 2, solve the equation to determine the value of the variable. So the given is x minus 3 equals 0. By applying the addition property of equality, let us add 3 from both sides of the equation. So it will be x minus 3 plus 3 equals 0 plus 3. Negative 3 plus 3 will be equal to 0. And 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. Simplifying this will give us the value of x which is equal to 3. Therefore, when x is equal to 3, the expression 6 over x minus 3 will be undefined. That is, if we substitute the value of x into the rational algebraic expression, it will make the expression undefined. Substituting this will give us 6 over 3 minus 3 and 3 minus 3 is 0. And again, if the denominator is 0, the expression is undefined. Thus, x is equal to 3 is an excluded value in the given rational algebraic expression, or in other words, x cannot be 3. Let's try another example. Identify the value of n that will make the expression 18n plus 1 all over n square plus n minus 2 undefined. Again, for step 1, let the expression in the denominator be equal to 0. So our denominator n square plus n minus 2 will be n square plus n minus 2 equals 0. Then for step 2, let us solve the equation to determine the value of the variable n. The given again is n squared plus n minus 2 equals 0. Since the given is a quadratic equation or a trinomial, we can factor n squared plus n minus 2 equals 0. Again, in factoring trinomials, we have to get the factors of the third term whose sum is the middle term. So in here, let us first factor n squared. Since the factors of n squared are n and n, this will be the first terms of the binomial factors. And for the last terms of the binomial factors, we have to think of the factors of negative 2 whose sum is 1 or 1n. The factors of negative 2 whose sum is 1 are 2 and negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 and 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, the factors of n squared plus n minus 2 equals 0 is the quantity n plus 2 times the quantity n minus 1 equals 0. Next, applying the zero product property, we have n plus 2 equals 0 and n minus 1 equals 0. Next, let us apply the addition property of equality on both equations. For n plus 2 equals 0, let us add negative 2 on both sides. And for n minus 1 equals 0, let us add 1 on both sides to isolate the variable n. For n plus 2 equals 0, the result will be n equals negative 2. And for n minus 1 equals 0, the result will be n equals 1. Therefore, the value of n cannot be equal to negative 2 nor negative 1. Again, what happens if we substitute the values of n, negative 2, and negative 1 to the expression? Let us first try substituting the value of n if the value of n is equal to negative 2. Let us substitute negative 2 into the expression. We have 18 times negative 2 plus 1 all over the square of negative 2 plus negative 2 minus 2. 18 times negative 2 is negative 36 plus 1. The square of negative 2 is positive 4. Then minus 2 minus 2. Simplifying this, the result will be equal to 
negative 35 over 0. So if n is equal to negative 2, the expression will be undefined. Let us try if n is equal to 1. Let us substitute the value of 1 into the expression 18n plus 1 all over n squared plus n minus 2. 18 times 1 plus 1 all over the square of 1 plus 1 minus 2 equals 18 times 1 is 18 plus 1 that is equal to 19 all over 1 plus 1 that is 2 minus 2 will give us the denominator 0. Since division of any number by 0 is undefined, therefore negative 2 and 1 are excluded values for this rational algebraic expression. Meaning we can substitute any number except negative 2 and 1. We can also verify that if the excluded values is substituted in the expression, it always ends up to division by 0. We also have to bear in mind that there are some values that will make the expression defined too. How are we going to inspect it? The process is called evaluating the expression. Let us try to evaluate the following expressions. For example, number 1, let us evaluate the expression y squared minus 1 all over y cubed minus 3 when y is equal to 2. This means that we have to replace the variable y with the given value which is equal to 2 and that will be our step 1. Again, the given expression is y squared minus 1 all over y cubed minus 3. By substituting the value of y is equal to 2, we have the square of 2 minus 1 all over the cube of 2 minus 3. For the next step, let us simplify the numerator and the denominator. 2 square is equal to 4 minus 1 over 2 cube is equal to 8 minus 3. Simplifying this will give us 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 over 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Thus, when y is equal to 2, the expression y square minus 1 all over y cube minus 3 is equal to 3 over 5. And for our last example, let us evaluate the expression 5x squared plus 6x minus 11 all over 1 when x is equal to 2. Again, let us replace or substitute the variable x with the given value which is equal to 2. Into the expression 5x squared plus 6x minus 11 all over 1. Substituting the value of x into the expression will give us 5 times 2 square plus 6 times 2 minus 11 all over 1. Next, after substituting the value of x into the given expression, let us simplify the numerator and the denominator. 5 times 2 square plus 6 square minus 11 all over 1 is equal to 2 square is 4 times 5, that is 20, plus 6 times 2, that is 12, minus 11, all over 1. 20 plus 12 is 32 minus 11, that is equal to 21 all over 1. Simplifying 21 over 1 is equal to 21. Thus, when x is equal to 2, the expression 5x squared plus 6x minus 11 over 1 is equal to 21. Again, a rational algebraic expression is an expression that can be written in the form p over q where p the numerator and q the denominator are polynomials provided that the denominator must not be equal to 0. That is because if the denominator is 0, the expression will be undefined. And don't forget that the expression must not have a negative exponent, a radical sign, or a fraction exponent in the variable in both numerator and denominator for it to become a rational algebraic expressions. That's all for now. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson for today. Again, this is Teacher Nancy, your grade 8 math teacher. Have a nice day, keep safe, and God bless us all.